This isn't really something I want to talk about, but I need people to know about this. So when I got to school this morning, I was heading for math class when I saw this boy wearing a cap coat and running towards a trash can. He was holding a game box up. He quickly threw the game in the trash and he just stood there and looked at it. I walked over to him and picked it up and to my surprise it was the Game Boy Advance game Metroid Fusion. I asked why he was so desperate of getting rid of this game, but then he just ran away. This was a game I played once in my childhood and I never finished it back then. This was a great opportunity to play again, I thought. When I came home, I found my Game Boy Advance that I hadn't used for years, and I put in the Metroid Fusion game card. The game card looked all normal, but it had a little scratch on its back. I started up, and everything seemed normal. The intro was just so I remembered, and so was the title screen. I was surprisingly excited to play this, no matter how old the game was. When I pressed start on the title screen, however, I could see that file B already had a saved data. I thought that this was the file the boy who threw away had been playing on. Now, I wanted to see how far he got in the game, but when I loaded up the file, Samus wasn't teleporting into a save room, and the classic Metroid game load music didn't appear. Instead, it just showed Samus' sprite lying on the ground in a dark red room facing away from us. There was no music playing. I tried to move Samus, but nothing happened. I tried to press different buttons, but nothing was working. I started to freak out a bit, since I knew that this wasn't how the game over sequence was in Metroid Fusion. I turned on the GBA and I restarted it. I loaded up file A instead, and since it was empty, a new game began. I was so excited. The intro began as always. However, when the intro was about halfway and when we'd normally see the yellow X parasites fly out of Samus' suit, it was now blood that came out. The doctors would normally fly into cure in the intro, but instead it was a new screen that wouldn't normally appear. And the text read, there's no hope for her. Let's go home for now and come back another day. The screen turned black for some seconds, and then Samus suddenly appeared outside of her spaceship like the normal game. But she didn't have the blue suit you would start with in the normal Metroid Fusion, but the suit was dark red and a blue pixel inside the helmet indicated a tear I could clearly see. I knew something was going on, but I went through the first door and the game played normally for a while. Then when I took the elevator down to the sector selection floor, the SAX came out of the wall. I remembered this from my childhood, but this time the SAX just flew through the wall instead of blowing it up, and it moved a lot slower, so I had to sit and watch it getting into the room for a long period. Then it stopped and looked at the screen, and the camera zoomed in on its face. I remembered the creepy face, so I was excited to see it again after all these years, but when I saw its face, a very loud grinding screeching sound came out of the GBA as if the game was breaking. The game also froze in its face, and I quickly turned the GBA off. I thought the game just froze normally and started it up again, but now the opening was different, the music was gone, and Samus wasn't inside of the spaceship. In the seat, however, was marks of blood, and the computer stated, Samus, are you there? The title screen now only read Metroid, and when I pressed start, it said that file A and C was corrupted, and I wasn't able to start any of them. I tried to load up file B, and the same screen came up for the first time as I tried. However, this time, Samus wasn't on the ground. Instead, I could see Samus without the power suit standing outside a window in the room where she'd been before, and she was black in her eyes and facing me. In her hand, she was holding a sign which read, Kill me now. I started to get really afraid. This was just totally abnormal. Something was wrong. I tried to press any button, but nothing worked. But when I pressed the L button, Samus disappeared from the window, and the SAX chasing music started playing backwards, and the picture of the SAX's face popped up on the screen. I jumped and screamed at the same time, especially since the face was now torn apart and blood was streaming from its eyes. I tried to turn off the GBA, but the music kept playing, and the picture didn't go away. I threw the GBA away, and everything I remember after that was that I woke up in the hospital, and my mum was sitting next to me. She said she found me fainted in my bedroom, my eyes open, the GBA was cracked in two. I looked around to see if there were others in the room, and a fear went through me when I saw the boy from school standing outside the window, staring at me, and smiling.